morning, Libra. Welcome to your April bonus reading. <clears throat> this is Mary, and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So, Libra, in this bonus reading, we're going to take a little peek into love and see what's going on with you in there. And then we will take a lo little look at your life right now, what's going in on in the life of Libra. Then we'll get some messages, guidance, uh, messages from spirit, the universe, advice or guidance for you. And they'll clarify all the energy with the tarot. So welcome Libra. Hope everybody's doing well, staying safe and healthy during this time. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. You could be male or female watching this. Please only take what resonates and throw away the rest. May not all be for you. Please do keep that in mind. Don't try to make it fit. If it's not fitting for you, then it's probably not a message for you. So please don't leave me negative comments because I will delete them. And um, what else? Oh my God, I forgot. Um... What else? Everything you need to know is down below in the description box. Decks I'm using, how to reach out for personal reading. A lot of stuff down there. Feel free to check that out. And if you're new and you like how I read, feel free to check out my channel. And if you want to put your energy in the channel by uh, subscribing, liking, sharing, commenting, all that great stuff. Uh, hopefully these readings will resonate for you. And if you do, thank you. Hit the bell. You won't miss out. You get about five readings a month. All right, so let's see what's going on. My intention with this Libra, uh, did I say that already? If something in your monthlies didn't resonate for you, so maybe something here will. All right, so let's see. Let's see. It could be past, present, or future. Maybe something going on around you, not directly with you, but maybe affecting you in some way. Energies can be interchangeable, so please do keep that in mind. All right, I've got to light your incense. All right, so let's see what's going on in love for Libra at this time. Libra at this time. What's going on for the Libra Collective in love at this time? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter Spirit. Please, thank you so much. Feeling that one. All right, I'll pull one from each, do the bottom of the deck along with it, and then, and then we'll clarify. So we have Our Lady Who Prevents Interference. And we have 22 here. Two is about uh, unity, people coming together in some way, shape, or form. And since this is love, so this is a love uh, unity here. So this is the Mother Mary Oracle. So this is Mother Mary saying um, the universe will prevent any kind of interference in this connection for you, this love connection, this love union, some kind here. So then we have Our Lady of the Whispering Heart. And we have two there again, which is about unity. People coming together in union, soulmate union. Wow. So I feel like here, whispering heart. So whatever your heart is telling you, this is like following your heart's call, following your heart's desire. Whatever your heart is telling you is right for you. We have two, two, two. Wow. You may want to look up that angel number, two, two, two. But that is like divine unity here, divine union between two people, soulmate union. Wow. Wow. So the universe will prevent interference in some way, shape, or form in this connection. And it's telling you, the universe is telling you to follow your heart in this connection. Wow. So there may be uh, people, places, things, and maybe trying to interfere with this connection also. Wow. All right. Libra. Libra. The world is saying we will not let anything interfere with this connection, with this union. Wow. I'm seeing, you know, the red there, a lot of red, which, you know, red and pink is about love also. So let's take a little peek into the life of Libra, what's going on for the bonus reading and the life of Libra. Life of Libra at this time, spirit please, for the collective, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. What is going on in the life of the Libra collective? Spirit, thank you so much. Wow. We have one card for the life of Libra. What's going on for the collective? It's a collective reading, not a personal reading. Can we get one card? Feeling that one. We have vocalization, individuality, inner voice, assertiveness. 32 is 5 is change, self-expression. So needing to uh, make a change or voice something here, express yourself, listening again to your inner voice, being assertive in some way about a change, maybe a change you're making. 
All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. We have here sacral chakra. Well, <laughs> then we have eight, which is about taking action, uh, communication, travel. So the sacral chakra is basically, uh, you know, in the pelvic area, and that is about fire, passion. Um, it's very sexual energy also. So you may be expressing yourself sexually here. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. <laughs> wow. It's like fire igniting sexual energy, fiery, passionate energy. Some sort of change or taking action with the eight. Travel, action, communication. Maybe getting some action and expressing yourself. I'm <laughs> like a big change coming in here. Wow. Okay. And if it's not sexual, it could just be you finally uh, feel, feeling fiery, passionate about something here and just needing to vocalize and express yourself, be assertive. Maybe that's um, something no one's ever really seen in you. It's just like standing for your beliefs and what you believe in. Wow. Okay. So let's get some guidance, advice for you from the universe, from spirit. Advice, guidance, messages for the Libra Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. At this time for this bonus reading, Spirit, please. What is the message? Please, thank you so much. All right, I'll find that one. Refine your attention. So refining your attention to something here. And on the bottom of the deck, accept what is dying. Hmm. So this is about... What is no longer serving you, no longer is fulfilling for you. What is, you know, um, fizzling like out of your life, which is no longer serving you. So maybe you're, you're some of you are still giving your attention to something that you know is kind of like dying out. Um, I don't think somebody's dying. I just think there's a situation, person, place, thing uh, that is no longer serving you. It's kind of like fizzling out. It's like you really don't want to put your attention there anymore or you know the universe is telling you it's time to take your energy back from the situation it's no longer serving you it's just phasing out fiddle, uh, phasing out fizzling out just let it end and refine your attention elsewhere whatever that is for you you only you know what that is for the person place thing uh, situation work career finance could be anything all right, friendships, social circles, uh, whatever that is for you. Could be something you're giving your attention to that um, you don't really feel, you don't really, really feel like the passion or the desire to give your attention to that anymore. So you know what, it's time to refine your attention elsewhere and just accept that it's no longer worth it. All right, so. Let's see for Libra. What is going on in love here? So we have the Two of Swords. About being indecisive about something here. Or blocking your heart. Or somebody trying to block your heart. Making you feel indecisive. But we do have now the Three of Swords. So this is about pain and hurt. And sorrow. A lot of pain. Oh, what is all that about? Temperance. But we do have balancing energy here, peace, harmony, balance, uh, patient energy. This temperance angel, I mean, it's not depicted here, but in the usual uh, tarot deck, you see the temperance angel usually brings the soulmates together. If somebody's been trying to block this connection, which has been leaving you very, very hurt, remorseful, full of pain, I mean, I don't know who it could be, family member, friend, an ex, I don't know, something here. Or give you just the energies of the current world. Universal energies here, because they're preventing this interference, is going to bring in peace, harmony, balance, just to be patient. Bringing uh, uni unity together, that is meant to be. Although you're not feeling it now, you're just feeling heartbroken and indecisive about what's going to happen here. Somebody, I feel, may be trying to block this. Block your heart, because it's telling you Whispering heart, which is about listening to your heart's desire, following your heart's desire. The moon and the queen of pentacles. So 
not seeing the path clearly. It could be about secrets, um, listening to your intuition, higher knowing. Path will be revealed with this temperance angel. Energy. Because we do have the Queen of Pentacles here, which is kind of like the Empress to me. So that is knowing your value, your worth. Looking at this pentacle, like, you know, you want to accept this pentacle from someone. Maybe they offer it to you already. Somebody may be trying to block it. And you're not seeing the path clearly. It's left you a little illusioned or disillusioned to this offer or to this whole thing. But this is, you know, knowing your value, your worth, your higher knowing, being smart, practical, uh, analytical, slow-moving energy. So let's see what else here. What is this energy here for Libra? So we got the Seven of Swords. Hmm. What's here? And the Two of Pentacles. Wow. So I feel like... Somebody is trying to get you to turn your back on this connection. It's trying to make you feel mixed up and imbalanced about this. But I think you know better because the Queen of Pentacles, I mean, yeah, that's Earth energy. You could just be in that energy. It's very smart, practical, wise, can make their own decisions. They're grounded. But I think somebody is trying to interfere and make you feel imbalanced to try to get you to walk away from this connection, I feel. Three of Cups. So maybe they're trying to tell you this person has somebody else. A third party but it's like you're looking at that pentacle like I know better somebody could actually be telling lies because the seven of swords can be very deceitful so somebody could be telling lies just to try to um, prevent this union for some reason maybe they just don't like this person or maybe they think this person is dece deceitful and a liar but you know the three of cups also is about Celebration coming together, reuniting. So what else is all of it? I mean, the temperance angel wouldn't be here if it wasn't trying to bring soulmates together and bring, you know, peace, harmony, balance, and patient energy. All right, so what else here? I put that queen of pentacle energy. It's almost like empress. It's like you know better than what this person is telling you. You know this will lead to the Ten of Cups, total happiness, joy, fulfillment, happy home and family in every single way. So you're going to take your time and assess, evaluate, analyze this um, energy. You know, maybe, you know, you're just going to take your time. And, you know, right now, and this is waiting, so we all are in that energy of waiting because of the current situations. Because here is an offer. So somebody did give an offer here with the Page of Pentacles. It's sure, it's stable, it's grounded, it's sincere, it's long-term. It maybe it might have been slow moving. But because I think of the current situations, there's no movement right now. So just evaluating and assessing right now this offer. Because in your heart, you know where it's going to lead. And the divine energy is really trying to prevent this interference. But somebody, somebody is trying to interfere with this. I don't know if it's a jealous ex or if it's a family or friend, ma friend that really dislikes this person that you're trying to come together with for some reason. All right, so here's an offer sticking out, almost like the Ace of Pentacles right there that will lead to the Ten of, uh, Ten of Cups. So what is this sacral chakra and self-expression about for Libra? The devil in reverse. Hmm. Why is that here? I mean, the devil up, upright could talk about obsessions, addictions, uh, stress, fear, worry, anxiety, a low self-esteem, uh, that kind of energy, self-doubt, very... Um, lustful sexual connection but it's in reverse some of you may be freeing yourself from a very toxic connection or very sexual connection because that's that sacral chakra now becoming you know single and independent in your own right be, you know i feel like releasing devil energy toxic energy or very sexual 
passionate, lustful connection. Maybe you're finally voicing yourself and disconnecting yourself from that energy for some of you. Because we have this energy over here, but now we have, I feel like, a separate message here. This could be past energy for you. You could have even been married to this person or in a long-term commitment. Also, oh, what's that? Yeah, so another card, four of wands of marriage commitment here. Some of you could be freeing yourself from toxic energy. Finally voicing your opinion about something here. The star, healing yourself, faith, hope, optimism, wish, having wishes and dreams come true. Hmm. What else here? Well, the star twice. Are you kidding me? I feel like you're being divinely, this is a divinely guided energy. And the King of Swords, again, is like divine energy too. It's about cutting away things no longer serving you, standing up for yourself, truth, clarity, open, honest, truthful communication. Divine energy to me also, divine intervention. I think divine energy, and you're finally having truth and clarity, and king or queen doesn't matter, that is your energy. King of Swords is air, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Having mental clarity, truth, here, I mean, look at his face. It could have been someone who felt like you've been through the ringer with this connection. Now, freeing yourself, either from a marriage or a long-term commitment. Double healing here. Double, double, divinely guided healing and moving on energy. Wow. Wow. Yeah, again, and then with the Ace of Swords, this is a major awakening, victory, aha moment, open, honest, truthful communication, victorious new beginning. Someone here is finally expressing themselves and getting themselves out of a toxic situation. You know, the sacral chakra, again, is that sexual energy. So it could have been very sexual, lustful connection. Could have, could have even been a marriage or something that ha had been going on here for a very long time with the hierophant energy, long term. But someone's divinely guided here twice to move on from this, especially with the Ace and the King, too. Wow. Major, major awakening, divinely guided energy intervention. Wow. Okay. Finally voicing. So refine your attention, accept what is dying. Yeah, Five of Pentacles. This is about... Uh, leaving something out in the cold, leaving something, you know, that is no longer serving you. So yeah, what is no longer serving you? It's time just to leave it by the wayside and refine your attention elsewhere. This is situation no longer serving you. So it's taking action, travel, communication, passionate uh, energy, ace of cups, just something else. So some of you here could be leaving a relationship that's no longer working because we have that energy here, and now going to either self-fulfillment here, self-love, self-fulfillment, peace, happiness, and joy in your own right, spiritual uh, fulfillment, or going towards a uh, brand new love. And it could be this energy over here. Maybe this is a jealous ex trying to ruin your new connection. Strength. So it's telling you to be strong, courageous, brave, having endurance and willpower. Very strong connection. Could have had eternities with this person it's brand new beginning in love so wow what else here wow it's way too many what do we have oh we got three so we have the eight of cups of so walking away from what is no longer serving you walk to something more fulfilling making the judgment call final decision here on this situation to leave what is no longer serving you having the strength to do that and the endurance to do it, to walk away, and refining your attention elsewhere. So it could be work, career, finance, education, um, king or queen of pentacles here. Very stable, grounded energy, um, smart, practical, analytical, slow moving, taking your time. It could be just self fulfillment here. Refining your attention back to you and self fulfillment. And getting your stability and your practicality back. And now we have the King of Cups. So again, could be self-love. Or somebody who has a lot of love for you. Feeling bored and complacent. So taking control, leading the charge, Emperor and Empress. 
to a brand new beginning for the long-term stable grounded um, long-term growth and abundance here so you could be changing careers uh, or something like that being an entrepreneur having you know self-value worth and love for yourself taking control of your life you know was feeling bored complacent at a time but now again self-fulfillment and love here also so different messages here for different uh, different people so accept what is no longer serving you moving on and moving on to something more fulfilling uh, leaving something toxic and being majorly divinely guided to do so and expressing yourself very passionately but some of you here may have somebody trying to interfere with a uh, union for some reason uh, either they're telling you lies or um, somebody is jealous here trying to interrupt but I think this is divinely guided and protected so listen to your heart and your heart's desire about this also wow Libra okay Libra so that's what I have for you in this bonus reading so best of luck to you sending you many light love and blessings and as I always say with my channel is to always always shine your light